sweeties, I'm Sciencey Sadie, your host of the Never Ending Cosmos, the show where we celebrate our love of the cosmos by drinking cosmos. This week, the Ontario Catholic Public School Teachers Union put out a policy against Wi-Fi in schools. See, a bunch of parents started noticing weird behavior from their children being sick during the school week but miraculously getting better on the weekends. List of symptoms include headaches, dizziness, nausea, memory loss, hyperactivity, insomnia, skin rashes, festal heart rates, and problems concentrating, and other ailments that no child has ever experienced in the history of grad school education. So obviously, after the quote, ruling every other possible cause out, they concluded that it must be the newfangled dangled wireless interweb contraptions beaming LOL cats and trollolo into their kids' brains. The only way to fix the problem is to connect all the computers to the interwebs using nice, safe wires. I think this is an excellent solution since school is the only place children are exposed to Wi-Fi. Except for cafes, bookstores, public libraries, their own neighborhoods, and other places you want to keep your child far away from. In conclusion, the Ontario Public Catholic School Teachers Union and Concerned Parents Everywhere win this imaginary award for a complete lack of understanding of what the fuck a logical fallacy is and excellence in pursuing not giving a shit about scientific consensus. Today I'm talking to Dr. Phil Play, who's coming to us live from a basketball court. Phil, do you often do interviews from basketball courts? One, once or twice a day at least. Wow, that's a lot of basketball courts. That's a very yellow tie wearing. Oh, there's no evidence for that and the evidence they present is wrong. Oh, it's like really yellow, trust me. How long have you been wearing yellow ties with blue shirts anyways? I've always done my whole life. I've always been fascinated by it. And like, no one's ever said anything? Uh, I get quite a mixed reaction. Like, oh my god, totally. Look, I think most people, which is just a red tie to go with that shirt, are like, maybe some stripes. I demand evidence for what people are claiming. Ooh, I like it. Let's do study on wardrobe accessories. Do you think there's anyone who'd fund a study like that? There are any number of groups like that. Totally awesome. Have your people call my people. Let's set something up. I think that's all the time we have. I know you'll have a busy schedule. What's next on the agenda? I think I'm going to be a professional skeptic. Ooh, that totally sounds like fun. I think I'm gonna do that too. That was Dr. Phil Plate, fellow professional skeptic and fashion icon. And now it's time for viewer mail. <laughs> Jory FX writes, watching this made my brain cry. Oh, I'm sorry your brain is crying. Sometimes my dog cries when he wants to go outside. So I take him for a walk and usually he goes pee, but sometimes he goes poop. Ew. I guess what I'm saying is, maybe our brain just needs to go poop. I lost my bonnet rights. Is this what a mental breakdown looks like? I lost my bonnet? No. This is what a mental breakdown looks like. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so lonely. It's 
It's okay, Mr. Ducky. Here, you can share my Christmas with me. <laughs> oh my god. Yum, 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 yum. It's just you and me, Mr. Quackers. Hello. He's a chiroquactor. See? That was a mental breakdown. That's the shit.